We're extremely proud of the growing list of world-class artists playing PBC instruments. Musicians like Jerry Duplessis and Wyclef of the Fugees, Alan Woody, bass player for the Allman Brothers and Government Mule, Arlen Roth, John Abercrombie, Michael Fath and Chris Neubauer of Michael Fath's Virginia Rangers, Lewis Johnson, legendary funk bass player with Michael Jackson and the Brothers Johnson, Tom Bresch, super picker and son of Merle Travis, and this list just keeps growing. You've seen PBC written about and advertised in Guitar Player, Bass Player, Guitar Shop, Jazz Times, Guitar World, Acoustic Guitar, and other music and trade magazines. Perhaps you've seen our instruments being played on concert stages, in clubs, or on TV. PBC instruments represent a groundbreaking convergence of the traditional with the truly revolutionary. And now let's focus in on the particulars of how to set up, adjust, and fine-tune these guitars and basses, as explained by the man himself, the designer and creative force behind the tension-free neck, the wishbone bridge, the individual through-the-body bass bridge, the touch guitar, and the hex mute system, the president of PBC, Dave Bunker. We invented the tension-free neck several years ago and basically it came about because of development in the touch guitar line of guitars. I and the touch guitar had to develop a way to take stress off of the neck so that not only could I get a more accurate neck that stayed for longer periods of time in tune but I could also <clears throat> in doing this, that took the stress off the strings so that the tension of the strings was less. Now, it seems strange that that would be, but in a normal guitar, you actually have a, a tensioning of the wood, a pullback of the wood, and it's a spring condition, so that as you put tension on, you actually are getting like the scenario of a bow, and the wood is actually bent. What I've done here is to put a bar through the neck that relieves the stress up to a certain point. Being free and clear here, it actually separates the headstock from the from the rest of the neck. <clears throat> With one simple adjustment, I can then adjust the neck any way I want. It was actually also done so that there was not the stress on the wood. It's funny how you can take a piece of wood and you can tap it if it's got st uh, no stress and you get a nice ring or musical note. The minute you put a tension on it and stress it, it goes dead because you have taken away any chance for it to vibrate or to resonate. This was really the main purpose of the tension-free neck, was to eliminate stress, make a softer string that would easier play when touched or picked or held down, make a more accurate neck that would actually stay in tune longer, give you more sustain because you have more of a rigid, solid contact with the string. So the tension-free neck eliminates a lot of problems. It's easy or to manufacture in a lot of ways because it's two pieces. It's, uh, it's very easy to, to to actually service, and that's something I'm going to get into, but it actually is easy to service, to take apart, to put together. To, if you want to tweak the rod, you can do that. So there's a lot of reasons for the tension-free rod.